In this problem, we're being asked to solve a system of linear equations by graphing the system. Uh, in this case, the system is just two linear equations, so that's two lines. And the idea here is that the solution of a system of linear equations is where the, the lines cross each other, where they intersect. So uh, what I want to do to be able to graph these is make sure they're both in y equals mx plus b form. Then they'll be easy to graph. looks like the first one is. Uh, that one's solved for y. The second one isn't. So I'm going to take a moment and solve for y. Let's see. I'll add x to both sides. So that gives me 3y equals x minus 3. And then we'll divide by 3. So here the threes cancel. Here, x divided by 3, I'm going to write that as 1 third x. And negative 3 divided by 3 is minus 1. So right off the bat, I'm noticing something a little fishy about this system, and that is that their slopes are the same. But let's go ahead and graph these, and we'll see how it comes out. So the first one, uh, I have a, a y-intercept of positive 1. And then the slope is 1 third, so that means it's going to go up 1 over 3. So up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3. So there's that line. And I'm going to be clumsy at sketching this in here on the computer, but something like that. All right. Next one has a y-intercept at negative 1. And again, the same slope, so up 1 over 3. So it's going to run along parallel to this line. So that is the quality of lines that have the same slopes. They're parallel. And parallel lines never intersect. They never cross each other. So if you have a system of equations and you see that the lines have the same slopes, that means there is no solution. If the two lines had crossed each other somewhere, you would just take that point where they crossed and give that as the solution. If you, after putting the lines into y equals mx plus b form, you'd seen that they were actually the exact same line, the same slope, the same y-intercept. That means they're right on top of each other. And so every point on those lines is a solution. And that would be why you'd get this infinitely many sometimes. So that's a little bit of work with solving a system of linear equations by graphing them.